everyone. Today, I want to show you some new features of Silicon on CDM Hub. So let's begin. This is the Silicon on CDM Hub. I launched the tool. And you can see that here we have two windows. This one is a new added one. And it can help you to upload the file from your local machine to CDM Hub. And also it can download the result file from CDM Hub to your local machine. So I will demonstrate how to use this. Uh, first we look at how to upload a file. Now on my local desktop, I already have a file on my desktop. And then I click upload. and uh, find my file on the desktop, open it, and upload it. And then I can close this window, minimize this window, and uh, open this file here, you see, and uh, click OK. Then the model I prepared in my local computer has been uploaded to this uh, online CDM Hub workstation. And then I can match it. And uh, do homogenization. This is, uh, by the way, this is uh, SG for uh, Honeycomb Sandwich structure. And later I will show how to use the online version to, to create this SG. Now this SG is created in the local computer and upload to this uh, online Silicon tool. Now save it, run it. You see, we can get the ABD matrices and the inverse matrices matrix of the ABD matrices, and also the implant properties and the uh, bending properties or flexural properties. Now. What I want is to save this uh, results file to my local computer. So here we can use this download. And the results file is stored in the .k file here. Open this and save it. Save the file. And then we can check. Now this file is in my local computer. I can open it in any like uh, text editor. Now you have all the data in your local computer. Okay. So this is about this new edit window to let you upload the file from your local computer to CDM Hub and also to download f files from the CDM Hub to your local computer. Okay. Now I Okay, now let's say how to build the uh, SG for the honeycomb sandwich structure using the CDM hub, using the sitcom on CDM hub. So, I build a, you need to build a new database. Let's call it honeycomb SG. Click OK. And uh, the first step is always define the material properties. Here I need two material properties. And usually it's the up and the bottom sheet for the uh, honeycomb sandwich is uh, laminate. So here I need to define the uh, material properties for the lamina. Add, then exit. Now I have two material properties. I go to geometry, common SG, select this 3D SG. Here we have Connie Comp. 
and uh, I select material properties. And here is laminar properties. This is laminar properties. Here, all these parameters can be changed according to the real structure. And uh, here, the corresponding parameters are here. We have uh, L1, L2, and theta, and the, the thickness of this uh, wipe part to define the code uh, geometry. And uh, the upper sheet and the bottom sheet is nothing but laminate. And we can define it separately, separately here, which means, uh, which means, uh, the upper sheet and the bottom sheet do not necessarily to be the same. Here we can do a simple test. We let this laminate, uh, to be forty-five minus forty-five, uh, repeat twice, which means the laminate, the final laminate would be forty-five minus forty-five, forty-five minus forty-five. And we want the bottom sheet to be asymmetric, with four, and uh, then the final layout would be forty five minus forty five minus forty five forty five. Okay, then I click add. Now, the code automatically generated this ge geometry shape for the con uh, honeycomb SG. And I go to mesh, click 3D mesh, click generate. You can see we can generate a very structured fine mesh. And if you want to make this uh, look better, you can play with G mesh. Here we can remove node, surface, and only left the volume part and also I don't need the geometry here. Now you can see that actually the color is the grouped by the different part, uh, the cone part and also for different lamina it has different color. Remember we have uh, for the up bottom, for the up surface we have uh, Forty-five minus forty-five, forty-five minus forty-five, and for the bottom one, we have forty-five minus forty-five minus forty-five, forty-five. So a total four layers. Now we are ready to perform swift comma homogenization and dehomogenization. Play homogenization plate, save this and uh, run it. This model contains relative, uh, this, this model is relatively large, which means it, the element number is kind of big uh, compared with the previous uh, uh, model I prepared in the local machine, so it will to take more time to finish the computing. Okay, here we go. Now we have the properties of the uh, of the XG. This is the ABD matrices, and also we have the implant properties and the flexural properties. And now, if I want to do the dehomogenization, uh, you have the homogenized the plate constitutive information, you can perform the plate structure analysis. Then you get the structure responses, and then you can input the structure responses here as the parameters to carry out the dehomogenization. Here, let's assume we have a curvature, K22, and also have a uh, uniform strain in the x1 direction, maybe this one. Click save and draw it.
Here I may make the model uh, a little bit larger, but, but you can customize your mesh and all the other things. It will uh, make the calculation become faster. Here we have all the local displacement, stress, and strain information. And uh, we want to make this look better because previously we select this falling faces. Now I just uh, unselect it. And now we can see the stress distribution in my SG. This is the S11 component. Because we have a K22, uh, which means kind of like a bending moment along X2 direction. And then we can check other stress component. And also we can check the strain. If you have and the uh, since you have all the local stress and strain information, you can even do the failure analysis based on this local field. So I hope this video is uh, helpful for the uh, users who want to perform analysis for sandwich, for honeycomb sandwich structure. Uh, hope you enjoy it.